Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back at you again with another video. Today, I'd like just to talk about the LG V30 in 2020. Is it worth picking up? Now, I'm gonna just say right now, without even wasting your time, definitely it's worth picking up. No doubt about it. This is a great device, and I love this device. Among all the V series of phones that I've owned, and I've owned the V10, the V20, the V30, and the V40, the V30 is clearly outright my best v series from lg now i know the v50 i haven't had that nor have i yet checked out the v60 but i'm just saying for me and i'm gonna tell you why i love this device for me i just love the v30 I, it's just something about this device that i absolutely love but just quick just let's go over the specs really quick you have here a six point a six inch po led display with a resolution of 1440 by 2880 you got Gorilla Glass 5. You got IP68 water dust resistance. You got a 3300 milliamp battery, 64 gigs of internal memory, 4 gigs of RAM, micro SD card expansion up to 1 terabyte. You got dual cameras, a 16 megapixel and a 13 megapixel with LED flash on the rear. Of course, you got a 5 megapixel front facing camera on the front that has also face unlock. Okay, and that's wide. That's a well, wide angle course um you got android android 9 on here and you also have the um, snapdragon 835 octa-core quad core with the adreno 540 you also get wireless charging you get the fingerprint sensor on the rear face unlock which i mentioned bluetooth 5.0 nfc screen recording a headphone jack with a quad dac always on display so of course, you're getting other features, but these are just the main things that I wanted to share with you and the things that I like about this device. So, the LG V30. Now, let me turn this brightness down so I don't blind you guys. <laughs> I always have everything up super, super bright. That's just the way I like it. But I'm going to tell you right now, I love this device. You got these thin bezels at the top and the bottom and thin bezels around the sides that's what i like no stupid notch at all there's absolutely no reason to have a notch on their newest phones this has face unlock too but with no notch and the bezel is very very thin i'd rather have a thin bezel than to have a stupid notch honestly okay you got your fingerprint sensor on the rear now this fingerprint sensor is very fast and it's very accurate of course it's a uh, power button built in also so it's the power button and the fingerprint sensor now some people like that some people don't but it's just going to depend on depend on the person but the fingerprint sensor is not the fastest but it is accurate it it, it, it takes it gets it reads my finger every single time that i put it on there but it's not super super fast but it is accurate okay of course you got your dual cameras on the back you got wide angle lens on here led flash the vid you got manual video recording on here you got the pro mode on here and these two cameras even though it's only two this phone takes phenomenal phenomenal pictures it really does and even the video is excellent as well the build quality on this phone is very good but this phone is pretty light you know for those of you that like light phones you're definitely gonna love this phone because it's very, very light. Okay, it's not heavy. You know, for people that prefer heavier phones, then you might not want this, or you could just get one of those um, heavy cases to put on it to make it feel a little more, you know, a little more heavy for you if you prefer heavier devices. But for people that prefer light phones and you don't want um, something super heavy in your hand to give you a hand fatigue and all that, then this phone is definitely what you want because it's definitely light. And it has a really nice build quality to it. Okay. Um, you have the headphone jack, which I love, which LG are still sticking with that headphone jack on all of their devices. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm sorry. For, for some weird reason, they put the headphone jack on the top, which I absolutely hate. It should be at the bottom. But you have that 32-bit hi-fi quad DAC that's built into this device. That's absolutely phenomenal. LG makes the best quad DAC on any device that I've listened to. And I've had 
many devices. This is clearly by far the best sound quality and you're getting it through a wired connection, not Bluetooth. Okay. All right. So I love that quiet DAC. I love this display, POLED display. Absolutely gorgeous. Gets nice and bright. I love that. Next thing, you got wireless charging. Now there's no fast wireless charger, but you still have wireless charging, which I love. Okay. You got expandable memory up to one terabyte. So memory is not going to be an issue for you. If you need memory, throw a terabyte memory card in there and you're good to go. If you, if not, you could put a 400 gig, 500 gig, three, 250 gig. I mean, you got, you got options all the way up to one terabyte of expandable memory you could play with. So that's not going to be an issue. Now this one only came with 64 gigs of internal memory and it only came with four gigs of RAM. Now I don't have an issue with either one of those numbers, the four gigs of RAM or the 64 gigs of internal memory. I don't, especially for the time when this device came out. Now this device came out, if I'm not mistaken, in 2017. Okay. Now if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me, but I believe it came out in 2017. But if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me. This is a great device. I love this device. I love the height of it and I love the width of it. It's not like I had the the LG G8 just not too long ago and it was very narrow and I don't like narrow phones. I just don't. This phone has the perfect width. I love the width of it. So you're going to get more display. Okay. It's it got a perfect height and an excellent width. Okay. The only thing they really messed up with this phone, in my opinion, they didn't put dual stereo speakers on here. They put one down firing speaker on here and it's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty tinny. Um, now it's not the worst sounding speaker I've ever heard, but it's definitely not stereo, not at all. Okay. So it doesn't sound great at all. That's the only thing. That's the only issue I really have with this device is that speaker. The software is not a problem. Now it doesn't, it's not going to get Android 10, unfortunately, but it's still really, really fast and buttery smooth. Okay. I don't have an issue with the software whatsoever. You know, everything just flows. I like the, the animation, how everything just comes up really quick. So you're not going to have, if you have this device and I hope you, you know, whoever does, they're not having any issues with the software because I haven't had any issues even though it hasn't gotten any further updates but the phone you know is pretty pretty fast and smooth to me now I'm not saying it's fast as as the newer phones of course of course not because it's an older phone you know but I do love this device this device is really really a great device I really I'm not giving this phone up I love this device I'm definitely keeping this device because I love the battery life. Oh, let me get to that. 3,300 milliamp battery. Oh, LG and their standby time is just absolutely phenomenal. Like literally, if you don't use the phone, you're not going to use any battery or barely any battery with this phone because LG, for some reason, has always had great standby time when it comes to their devices. Now, I was just playing around with this for the last three days. I just charged it yesterday, but literally three days of battery, like over, was it over 70 something hours with over almost six hours of screen on time? Three days, y'all. That's crazy. And I was using this phone like I was da constantly downloading videos and, and, and just constantly having the screen on and I barely burned any battery. This thing is a battery monster. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, so battery is not going to be an issue for you. It shouldn't be. At least I, it hasn't been with me with this unit. So like I said, the only thing for me is the speaker is just not that good. Other than that, I like everything else there is about the device. It's an excellent device, um, especially when you want to listen to audio through the headphones now fortunately for some reason lg refuses to give you headphones in the box which i just don't understand you know why give us this great quiet DAC and you can't give us a set of headphones i just don't understand that i really don't but if you're thinking about picking this phone up 
you can probably find this phone like for about 150 bucks if not cheaper i mean it's dirt cheap like if it's about the money for you and you know you just want to get a flagship phone and this was a flagship device when it was re when it was released so you're getting all the bells and whistles that come with it okay you're getting an oled display you're getting gorilla glass 5 okay you're getting a PO LED display. You're getting IP68 water dust resistance. You're getting wireless charging. Okay. You're getting expandable memory. You're getting great cameras. You're getting Bluetooth 5.0. You're getting a headphone jack, always on display, and a nice fingerprint sensor. And you're still getting even more features than I just told you about. You know, I don't want to get into all the stuff because this phone's been out for a while and you could watch in you know a lot of videos to get all the other features that come with it but i'm just saying overall this was a flagship phone when it came out it's fully loaded great battery life great display great cameras great audio experience you're gonna love it it also has fast charging not the fastest in the world but it does have fast wired charging okay so to me this phone is definitely worth picking up now if you're saying because the software is old, you know, you don't want something that's not going to have the latest and greatest. OK, that's fine. But it does have Android 9. And like I said, I haven't had any issues with the software at all. No glitches, no lagging and none of that just does everything that I needed to do with no problem. So I'm just telling you, if you're looking to save money and you want a flagship phone, even though it's an older flagship, Definitely consider the LG V30 because you're going to get it for a dirt cheap price. $150 or less. Now, maybe spanking brand new, maybe $225, $250, maybe. But I mean, the phone is going to be dirt cheap. <laughs> so definitely consider this. Okay. All right. So that's my look at the LG V30 in 2020. Is it worth picking up? Absolutely absolutely especially for what you're getting and that price thanks once again to all my subscribers out there and thank you all for taking the time to view this content hope you guys are staying safe god bless you until the next time peace